Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. Back out hunting again. This time I'm watching a big fox squirrel run around and eat some corn and whatnot. You can see here I got my bow. My old shoddy blind. Backpack with holes ripped through my shoot through mesh from prior years. This is what my place looks like this time. This is the location my dad uh, shot his deer. It was just to the left of that white barrel, about 15 yards. I've been mulling a couple things around my head. Um, I think that 25 ped hunts with a buchan, without an amp at least, is too long of a hunt. Um, even at times three speed, I want to say the video is anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour and 15. Depending on how much I have to run around and kill things. Things like menorahs is quicker, but things... Things like a Halix, Halix, H A L I X, or a Carebook take longer for sure because you have to run around. Even Hornets take a little longer. Anyways, so even 50 bed hunts with Xors take a while. And at least you're taking a long time throwing ammo at them. So what I end up doing with those is not only do I make it times three speed, but after I've made it faster because my computer programming computer program is not smart enough to understand the difference. I have to push it out. I have to then chop it up, I should say, and get shorter. So I can get down to a 20 minute video. And even that's maybe a tad longer than I want. Because it ends up being 20 to 25. Occasionally it ends up being right at 20. So. That's one problem. Pushes me towards making 15 bed hunts. Which seems to be the perfect number. The problem is. I do so many hunts. Because I'm becoming more and more profitable, which means I don't lose as much. And I'm getting two bed a day from the Milo Mission Run. And I'm selling things on the auction hall, which I'm immediately putting back into <clears throat> mostly mining. But if not mining, hunting. And that, that leaves me here, essentially. With a bunch of missions that, or a bunch of hunts that I'm having a tough time figuring out how to do it. Like to give you an example, I want to say this hunt here is hunt number 26 that I've done since I've been keeping track of hunts. Uh, the majority of them are 15 ped. There's about six that are 50 ped or 25 ped, 50 ped really. And I have a, about two that are five ped and one that's 10 ped back when I first started. And I really thought that's all I could do when I was just on Planet Arcadia. That's the difference between being on Planet Arcadia and being Arcadia Moon. That's what it opened up was the number of hunts. Sorry there. Anyways, so what I've figured out, or what I think I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my 15 ped hunts, do the same thing as I do with my 50 ped hunts, make it times three speed, chop it up, then have my in card. But I've been doing four hunts and then rotating something else, and then four hunts, and then rotating something else. 
because I want to see as I get more skill if there's a noticeable pattern and I'm also looking for the best way to hunt these things and there is a difference so for example menorahs I don't really need now these days now that I'm skilled I don't need armor or a heal not really if I get myself in a bad situation because I'm foolish yeah I could probably use some heals or armor but for the most part I don't really have a repair cost back when I started and I missed more and I wasn't hitting as hard and I wasn't adjusted yes so that is a noticeable difference but not so much so really just me running around in my pajamas my you know uh, contagion suit whatever you want to call it to protect me from the elements is fine with my uh, alien head but when I fight for example Oros I'm probably going to need to wear armor and I probably will need heals because those are like level 7 to level 9 they're not very high hit point but they are level 7 to level 9 whereas if I'm hunting with hunting noosles which have way more hit points than even Oros, even though they're level, well, I guess the super young ones, the ones you can tame are level three, but the ones that you generally hunt are like fourth to seventh. I'm probably going to need the Matrix 10 to be able to kill it because I'm just not going to do enough damage fast enough. It's going to regenerate and make for an incredibly long fight. And I'm going to need heals, and I'm going to need to wear armor. Maybe even more armor than my scout armor that I have currently. And I really don't want to put on heavier armor just to be able to take bigger hits so I can continue to use my bootkin. It makes sense later on, but if I'm just having a DPS problem, I don't want to fix it by adding armor to absorb the blow so I don't have as much to heal. Because that doesn't make sense. That does not sound cost efficient. So, all that being said, find the best way to fight the creatures, which I have a good idea for mm, a large percentage of them. So, of the ones I've been hunting, I've been hunting, and you'll see videos coming out in this year soon, uh, Gallards, uh, Menorahs, of course, then the Arcadian Hornets, the Oros, um, I didn't record myself hunting a new soul, I just realized it wasn't going to work, and there's one other thing, a Carbux, I think that's it, I think that's the five I've been hunting, so if you take those five, and you were to do one a week, and do a 15 bed hunt every week, that's a different species per month now if you think about that let me see if i can get this bird right up here there is a male and female cardinal there's the male right there and over here behind that branch just flew down is the female now I gotta figure out switch this camera back okay anyways if you do a species per month on the round that's four or fifteen bed hunts that's fairly quick but man that's a lot of topics and I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I don't feel like that's the best use. I don't think my videos are getting out to enough people. And I think that's because there's only one result. There's the end card where you get to see it. So I've been noticing a lot of my viewers have been going, watching, 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 and oops, drops off. And then picks up at the end because they just want to see the results. 
And I get it. I also get that maybe four topics a month is faster than what I need to be doing. If you remember me talking about the fact that I was only going to do one vlog a month. And then I'd be doing these hunts every now and then before. That's because I was looking at this going, okay, I can only talk so much about how I'm growing and channels and thoughts and theories and that type of stuff so much and until I'm just rambling crap, basically, out. Excuse the terse language. So, I don't think I want to go completely away from it. But I think I'm going to do one of the 15 ped hunts times four so I get the start to end of a species um, here coming up very soon I have one more well this is going to be a this is my last 50 ped hunt for a little bit and then after that I have some adjust a bukin hunts where I switch between armored and non-armored and what I want to do is just pick four that are all going to be menorahs do that video and then kind of compare between armored and non-armored and have that be part A essentially and then do four more hunts which will be part B and be the final reveal and then I'll do a video after that will be a comparison. All right, now we're going to look at all the videos I've done so far. I've got my four with armor, my four without armor on the non adjusted bukin. And I'm going to have my four with armor and four without armor on the adjusted bukin. And then that will give me an idea of whether it's better to have an adjusted bukin or have. A non adjusted Abukin and fighting things that are like 12, 13 hit points, about third level, like Menors. Um, and then, of course, by the time I get caught up, I'll have a follow up series, which I'm actually going to start shooting tomorrow, just so you're aware of how far ahead I am. Um, where I'm going to do four 15 bed hunts in the manner in which I feel is best to hunt menorahs. Um, to see if I get less skills, more skills than I did when I was lower level, but less experienced. They really have levels in this game. And if the loot gets better, which has been one of my early thoughts, that the reason why people that have been here longer get better loot is because they get less skills. They don't pay that skills tax. So that's going to be comparison part C for the menorahs. And then we will have gone months through this process to finally have an answer in the end. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can turn this around here. Zoom in next to the barrel here. Those are a mixture of, actually I think those are all doves. That's six different doves. Seven doves. These are in season, if you have a dove stamp. Which I do not. Anyways, so hopefully we're going to have some real exciting stuff coming here. We're going to get some answers. Not fully definitive because I'm just one person. 
But if someone else were to do this and then link me in their video so I could watch them, all your whole series, and then come up with something very similar where you spend 60 ped armored and 60 ped unarmored with a uh, a S10 and then go get your adjusted and then your Buchan adjusted and then do 60 ped armored and 60 ped unarmored and then come back when you're 1500 points and laser higher than when you were there close to it I think a thousand plus I bet at least and then see if you get the same results for your A, B, and C I think that'd be really cool my uh, part D because I am doing a part D is I've been collecting um, the Scott's and Barlow pistols I now have two pistols and I have one rifle the rifle is too high a level though it's a, it's a Scott's and Barlow BP3 which frankly does more damage than my Lucan by a significant amount like double damage but anyways we'll see if there's a difference between laser or ballistic against the Moreau's. I'll do four armored and four unarmored. Not that, again, I need necessarily the armor or the S10, but I want to get more than 60 ped down there. I want to get 120 ped for a better average. Anyways, you get 5, 10 people doing this. I think then we'll actually have true answers. If you hit me up, let me know you're doing it, and link to me in the end when we have more results, and I have a whole group of us do, that have done this maybe, I'll do a follow-up video talking about how all this ended up relating in the end, and we'll go from there. But anyways, that's my thoughts. So I'm just going to sit out here. It's not too cold today. It's about 50 degrees. I got a couple layers on. A little beanie. I got an extra beanie to go around my face. It's a mask beanie type of thing. And I've got a black over jacket. Dark blue over jacket, whatever you want to call it. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing black and not camo. I'm in a blind. If you notice behind me, the wall is black. So it is camo. I'm just not out in the trees. And it works. I can tell you, deer have seen me while I've been in a blind. But they don't see me off your time. And more times than not, they have not seen me. I have been smelled more than I've been seen. So, anyways. If you like this little blog, vlog style, while I'm hunting, if you think that's cool, let me know in the comments. Um, I may not be able to do hunting because you can't hunt year round. But maybe I could do it while out in the nature or whatever, fishing or hiking. Give me an excuse, please. Give me an excuse to get outdoors. Anyways, guys, thank you. Appreciate it. If you gave value out of this video, please hit the like button. Let's get my, my channel out there to more people. I think the most likes I've gained so far on any of my videos has been five, maybe six. So let's go for ten. See if we can hit ten. If you made it this far, likes don't cost anything, you know what I'm saying? Alright, cool. Bye.